What is up everybody? It's your boy Havoc. We're back at it again. This is a different type of video this week, man. Uh, one of my coworkers hit me up, knows that I'm a DJ, knows that I customize turntables. He would like for me to customize his turntables and take them from the color that they are to the color that he wants, all right? So this is the current state of these bad boys as is right now, all right? These are Techniques MK2s right here. He bought them uh, off of Craigslist, I believe, or somebody offline, in other words. He had to drive to Phoenix to get them. He paid, you know, pretty much what, what the market is right now. And uh, they're black, okay? When he told me they were black, I was like, bro, for the price that you got them at, that is a steal because black techniques MK2s are rare to find. Um, I didn't know that they're custom painted black, okay? Now, the paint job's not terrible. It's not terrible. You see that there's some reflection in the paint. Uh, so it's not bad, but it is a little bit thick and it could have been done a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these joints from this black to like a royal blue for the homie. So stay tuned on this first ever that y'all are seeing. Uh, Technique MK2 customization, man. Let's get it cracking. Here it is, man. If you have ever wondered what is inside of your Technique's turntables, this is it. Um, now, this is a really, really bad paint job. Like, really bad, man. And let me show you why. You see all this right here? It's like whoever painted this just masked off everything under the platter like they just masked off this motherboard they just masked off the power supply they masked off the spindle for the turntable the magnets it, i mean this is this is probably one of the worst that i've ever seen you can see that overspray right there this is bad man um luckily homeboy said the turntables work good everything works fine i personally haven't haven't messed with them yet um so they're they're gonna be solid, man. I'm gonna do these things correct. We're gonna we're gonna get it done the way that it should have gotten done the first time. But nothing nothing against the dude that did this, man. He probably just didn't know and really wanted black turntables. But uh, it's all good, man. Make sure that uh, if you don't know what you're doing, to ask somebody or watch my YouTube video or something, man. So here we go. Let's uh let's get it popping. This is the inside of your turntable. This is what it looks like. This is how uh, we make it happen, man. All right, so if you've ever wondered how to get this rubber piece off the bottom of your turntable, it's super simple. All you gotta do is unscrew all four feet. There's four screws under each foot that go in the little holes there. You unscrew all the screws that go in this circle, including these four in the middle of the circle. You unscrew these all right here. And you just pretty much use your fingers to kind of pry this thing up. Slowly, you don't wanna do it too hardcore because you may, you know, that pitch fader may be um, caught on something so on and so forth you just want to do it real carefully just to make sure that you're not going to jack anything up man so i'm going to do that now too lazy to go grab the tripod so y'all are going to just have to bear with me just like that i literally just uh put my fingers in this circle hole here and use this oval hole as kind of leverage and i just popped up got my finger under it just ran it around to kind of loosen it from the chassis of the turntable and once it was all pried loose then i slowly pulled it off this is it man bare bone technique slmk2 that is what the chassis of this bad boy looks like, man. Original paint on the back and this new paint on the front. This thing is ready to be stripped of the paint, uh, primered, painted up, and reassembled. You notice I got all my stuff right here, neatly organized. Thockles are done, neatly organized in bags right here. I put everything in a labeled bag. This is all my parts for the power supply, so that way I know when it comes time to reassemble this thing, that's where I'm gonna go for my power supply parts, right? Or boom, my controller board. These are the screws for my controller board, okay? Easy, man, makes my job a whole lot easier. So, now that we got through a little bit of the boring part, you're gonna see some action now, man. We're gonna sand it up real proper, we're gonna get it primed real proper, and we're gonna get it painted, man. It's gonna look clean, we're gonna get it happening. We're gonna make it happen, folks. Stay tuned, let me know if you like it so far, man. Smash the like button. Drop some comments below. Here we go. All right, fam, this is everything that your boy's gonna use to strip and repaint this turntable, chassis, or housing, whatever you wanna call it, all right? Um, some masking tape so I can go ahead and mask off the pieces that I don't want painted, like my pitch fader uh, area and the area for my pop-up lamp. I'm going to be using some clean strip 
premium stripper. This stuff is crazy good, man. Literally just spray it on and it starts to bubble away whatever paint or primer is on there. You're going to need some gloves because this chemical is hardcore, man. It'll eat your hands up. Uh, after I do that, I'm gonna use these joints right here to scrape up the paint, toss it in the trash, do whatever I do with it. You can, these are optional. You can get some uh, stainless steel little brushes to be able to like kind of scratch the paint off a little bit, but you want to be careful not to scratch the aluminum housing and whatnot. So you're better off using plastic putty knives or plastic uh, scrapers, okay? After that's all done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sand it down with the heavy grit just to get whatever excess is on there. Probably the uh, factory paint is still on there. So if this paint stripper doesn't get it off all the way, I'm gonna use this to completely just destroy through that paint and get it down to aluminum, pretty much bare, bare aluminum. After that, I'm gonna hit it with uh, a coat or two, maybe even three of some self etching primer right here. This is Rust-Oleum two times ultra coverage flat white primer. Um, this is just the best quality that I found to do this um, type of custom with. So two or three coats of this junk, and as soon as I'm done, uh, as soon as this is done drying, then I use whatever color paint that I'm going to be using. This is also the two times ultra coverage paint. There is a primer in this as well, but even if it has primer in it, I still like to do a couple coats of primer, um, especially with the darker colors. I do a light white coat of primer, so that way this really pops and it stands out and it's not too dark, you feel me? So white primer, and then whatever color paint you're gonna use, I'm gonna mask this thing off and we're gonna start tearing into this, man. Let's, let's make it happen. All right, fam. Now that we got the gloves on, I feel like Walter White in these joints, homie. Now that I got the gloves on, I'm gonna spray this thing down. We're gonna get it stripped up. Let's get it cracking. All right, y'all, after I got that first coat of Easy Strip off of there, uh, I'm gonna hit it one more time, man. I got one coat, uh, one can per table, so I'm gonna use this stuff generously, man, until pretty much all of that paint is off, so that way there's a minimal amount of sanding that I need to do, and it just makes my job a little bit easier, man. So I'm gonna show you the finished product right before we get ready to sand this joint. Peep it. All right, fam, I just got this thing stripped of all the paint. It is ready to be sanded. You notice it may, be, it may look wet still on the camera. Um, I literally just took this into my bathroom, threw it in my tub, and knocked off all of that big grime, grimy paint, sticky paint, whatever. But you notice this thing got it down to uh, factory paint, man. And you can see whoever customized these before me um, on some spots got it down to the aluminum finish. So what we're gonna do is knock off the rest of everything. Everything, man. I'm gonna get it down to the aluminum finish and then I'm going to hit it with this royal blue paint right here. And it's, it's gonna look ill, man. So stay tuned uh, for a little bit of the sanding process, a little bit of the priming, the prepping process, and uh, for sure the finished product, man. I'm gonna let this dry up and uh, we're gonna get it cracking. Uh, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mask this off so I went on jack it up with this um, power sander right here. I'm gonna go very lightly on this joint, uh, not too heavy. If you don't feel comfortable using one of these, you can get a sanding block, piece of sandpaper, and just go to town, man. But I'm gonna get this thing uh, ready to be sanded. Let's do it. And there you go, y'all, just like that, man. I got this joint sanded up real quick. You can do this without this right here, but it is obviously going to take a whole lot longer. Um, but really, man, take your time, whether you're using a power sander, whether you're using a sanding block, or whether you're using just some good old sandpaper in your hand, take your time, man. This is literally day three of this junk. It does not happen fast. Um, you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, man. You can't rush perfection, so take your time, and I guarantee you it'll come out a1 all right fam mo i had to bring it into my garage man because it is way too cold outside and the paint will get an orange peel effect it'll look like the skin of an orange if you paint uh anything when it's too cold outside so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna let this warm up a little bit 
um, get to room temp inside my garage, and then I'm gonna start painting it up, man. So uh, stay tuned for that. All right, y'all, here is the finished product, man. Painting, anyways. This is the finished product of painting. There it is right there. Nice couple, three, four coats of blue paint, royal blue. Now I'm gonna throw it back together. Let's get it cracking. All right, y'all, the paint is done. Now I'm gonna just throw it back together, man. Here we go. Scratchy seal, you already know it.
Audio, check. Power on, check. Butter rug, check. Scratchy seal, check. Let's make it happen, Kevin. Perfect. There you go, man. You've seen it. Custom tables from the one and only Havoc the Great. Havoc's Custom Tables, man. Hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. If you're not my friend already, go add me now. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, man. Be sure to follow your boy right here on YouTube. Subscribe to me for all my latest content, all that good stuff, man. If nobody has told you all today, you are awesome. I love you. And until next time, I'm out. Salute. Peace.